Hello everyone, I am Shruti Sonamne and I welcome you all to College Dunya's MBA channel. If you are a current MBA student or an MBA aspirant, then you are at the right place. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do it right now. So in this special series of College Dunya interviews, where we interview MBA students from top B schools of India, today we have with us Atulya Vyankatesh from IIM Vishakhapatnam, the Sunrise IIM. So Atulya is one of the youngest in her batch. She was just 20 when she entered the B school and she is from the batch of 2022 to 24. And also she is a fresher of course. So hi Atulya, I welcome you to this interview series of College Dunya. Hi Shruti, indeed it's an honor to be here on the interview series and you know share my experience with the viewers. I hope they don't get bored midway uh, hearing me talk about my cat experience and how life is at IMV which is the opposite of boring. <laughs> of course not. So. Yeah, to start with this video, can you please brief us about your profile, like your 10, 12, UG and your cat percentile, etc. So, uh, I did my, so I have a, uh, I did my 10th and 12th from CBSC and I have a perfect score in CGPA in my 10th and I have a 96.5% in class 12 with the computer science stream and coming to my uh, undergraduation, I did a BSc in psychology from Women's Christian College Chennai, uh, one of the premier institutions in my uh, thankfully, you know, I was part of the uh, cohort of uh, women who were there in the department when the department was about to hit 50 years old. So it was uh, quite an experience. And again, I have a good GPA there. Uh, and I'm a fresher, of course. And my as far as my cat percentile goes, you know, uh, I have an 88.65 uh, percentile in cat. And uh, so being from a humanity stream and a non quants background, uh, as well as a girl uh, quota, the women's quota. I think that is what has pushed me uh, to get into a B school and my background also suited quite well to those areas. And uh, this is my profile for B brief. One, one more question that would follow is why MBA after psychology, I guess. Exactly, so that is because yes. <laughs> so I've been hearing a lot of this question so I just added it as part of my profile's brief still because now MBA is part of my profile at the end of the day right exactly so, because psychology to MBA is something very unique and we do not hear such terms in general true so but I uh, I don't know why but I would disagree with you because I have seen both the worlds uh, of both psychology and the administrative field but don't you think that masters in business administration, business administration includes human administration, which is nothing but psychology, my undergraduation. Right. So, so that was one of my driving factors to choose MBA after a BSc in psychology. And I, you know, personally would like to, you know, major in consumer behavior, social psychology, or as the layman call it marketing. Uh, and uh, you know another layman term is human resource which is which we consider as organizational behavior after two terms I think uh, people would agree to me here so these are some of the areas that I would like to explore as part of MBA which coincides with my undergraduation and also we do have you know research and life sciences which is decisional science over here so statistics is also not a problem and one of the main I think flaws in my uh, I won't say flaws, but ga gaps in my profile would be finance, but we won't talk about money here, I guess. Exactly. So, Atulya, as we were discussing, before starting the recording, I remember you telling me that you are one of those privileged students who got to uh, come here at the IIM Vishakhapatnam's permanent campus. So, would you like to tell us about how is life at IIM Vishakhapatnam's permanent campus? So, yeah, um, you know, when we came in, it was... Uh, we just saw a few buildings and uh, mostly hostels and academic blocks and the mess. But as we progressed, we can see the library coming up, we can see the academic blocks coming up. And, you know, after seeing those videos of I am Vishaka Patnam on, uh, on their YouTube channel and coming here and seeing it li constructed live is such an experience in itself because uh, you, I would be part of the cohort that has, you know, seen the institute being constructed. So it is really an honor to be at this uh, here at this point. And apart from that, you know, we do see a lot of changes every day that say, while the MBA throws its own surprises every day, the college administration also has like uh, mountains and a lot of beautiful sceneries and you discover something new or the other, be it flora or fauna here on the campus because we are admin, uh, situated at Mr. Jungle at the end of the day. Uh, not snakes, uh, not snakes, but really good flora and fauna. Uh, so you so got to see some snakes during the rainy season or something? 
so we saw snakes and scorpions but don't fret we have like animal protection nearby and we do get good pesticides and fumigation every now and then so i don't think they are a trouble now but during the initial days quite wildlife was also part of our syllabus so that was something <laughs> that <laughs> we learned so administration also includes you know those aspects of the infrastructure so we did have good animal care and rescue uh, live demonstrations but it's fun so we have a in house lake and a reservoir and things like that it's a very beautiful campus so even if you don't study do try if you can pay a visit to the campus at least to see the greenery and the beauty amazing so atulia can you also tell us about the diversity ratio that the batch has like gender uh, diversity as well as the education background diversity sure so i think imv has been one of the most uh, um forward thinking or very um uh i i don't know visionary of sorts because they do take in a lot of diversity for example me as an example i did my bsc in psychology and yeah. with my cat percentile i was quite um unsure where i would be uh because it was it's quite low compared to the standards at the end of the day let's just be honest with that but imv took a step forward saying that you know this student might not be good at quants because they have a psychology background uh and they do did a great standardization there and let me you know um I gave you an opportunity and a platform to actually perform. True, and they don't only consider the cat. There was the, my PI, my personal interview experience with IMV was also very good because they didn't ask me anything outside my area of niche, which was quite different from the experiences I had with other IIMs because they were more focused on quants and how sh- I would probably do with math. But here, mm-hmm. you know, they want uh, people who specialize in their uh, specific fields that they have chosen in the past. so that was one thing that i think would set imv apart from other iim so diversity is one of the um one has been one of the forefronts in imv although we don't have it as part of our value system in our website but i do feel it is there in the dna of all the faculty as well as the students because we do have a a, a lot of pwd candidates we do welcome people from various diverse backgrounds and our campus as well is very pwd friendly with the blind markers and the wheelchair friendly assistance is everywhere so diversity as far as it go our women ratio is also quite good um and uh, very diverse background we have someone from physical sciences if i'm not wrong so uh and psychology myself but again engineers are a majority because uh, you know most of, of them give cat and they land up here but again there also you can see diversity in terms of freshers and experienced people and with a batch of 3 uh, 274 that is well needed because you need to have everybody's perspective we have some nrls right. as well so it's a great batch in in itself and the diversity quota is also well maintained so as i remember you told that there are only minimal to 20 or 30% of the freshers in the batch and rest of them have work experience so in your so, initial days when you came in the campus did you feel inferior or did you feel any you felt intimidated by looking at the people who have work ex of maybe 2 3 4 years so how was your experience initially in the campus so um it was not only work ex of 2 3 4 i think there is the highest is 6 years right if i'm not wrong so right. the highest here is 6 years uh, and uh, in team i would i would not say i was intimidated because that would be a very uh, mi- mild word to describe my experience <laughs> i was more frightened or scared because you know they all come into the class and you see them interact with such you know jargons of the industries and the corporate mm. world etc and then here i am fresh out of college and uh, uh, no i didn't even have a four year course so i was just 20 as you were t- talking about me in my introduction i was just 20 and i look at people who are like t- 27 26 and i go oh they have a generation like- gap totally <laughs> um yeah gen z at, i am a gen z at the end of the day when you say some words like sus and uh, like smh they don't really understand so again i was alien in both the terms both in terms of socialization as well as in terms of classroom so it was really a uh, 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 i had a i won't say i had a very difficult time finding my way because i did have a good support system here like i was welcomed in many groups irrespective of my background or age or whatever barriers you might cultural barriers at then also at the end of the day um but i surely had you know frightened because people here came in with industry jargons experiences and so many things that i didn't actually anticipate people would be because the previous batch 
if you had seen the statistics here was mostly freshers so i expected that sort of rapo uh, right. like but coming here only the kind of changed around but the batch of 21 that, to 23 had maximum of freshers in their ratios freshers. but uh, in your batch 22 to 24 the ratios turned upside down and it was other way around completely oh and it was completely i was i was i wouldn't say shocked but it was something unexpected and you know it threw a surprise but i think this was one of the greatest decision that the institute has done because now not only am i very skilled at using these jargon because of peer to peer learning that a b school environment offers but i feel that i apart from mba have also got an a hang of these Uh, you know a mild dilute version of these three years work it's from them so it's like stealing the <laughs> it's like an osmosis taking the best the of everybody from their every yeah. different perspectives and their experiences True. so i you know the uh, when i was able to relate to them like some because they also started giving me dilute examples you know less jargon so now i am i feel i would be more comfortable to work in an environment and be more socially adept so i think this is one of the greatest um thing that the institution has actually done in terms of the what is this called um, onboarding of the students amazing so, frightening was one but again the faculty as well as the cohort members were very welcoming to you know adjust me into the system and make sure that i don't feel left out great to know that so atulya when was this time when you decided that now is my time and i am going to prepare for cat because i want to do mba so uh, it happened again um, i if you had heard my profile very quickly i would have been you would know that i did a computer science in class 12 and then i moved on to a, a psychology degree so right uh, I have always been a person who goes with the flow. So it was my father who had actually suggested that you know, uh, why don't you take up MBA? It goes well with the DNA of psychology and your um, computer science because technology is also something yeah. that you need to so blend. Perfect like blend of all your um, academic mixture and your personality. Academy. Yeah. So and we do have a sort of family business uh, of we have a small startup uh, which deals with. technology and uh, we develop mobile applications and web applications so mm-hmm. you know being the only heir of that my father was like uh, it's an obvious step so i was like ha ah, let's just do it so i just started preparing for cat uh, during my uh, at the end of my second year in college beginning of 2021 i started preparing preparing for cat while i was doing my third year in uh, my undergraduation and okay. November 2021 road cat and June 2022 I am here great so how much time did you get to prepare for cat you mean in terms of like i started very late like march of 2020 2021 uh okay wait. and uh, you had cat in november 2021 so november 2021 okay and when you finally got your cat percentile you may have got other calls also other than i am vishakhapatnam so which other calls did you get so i would go like from the south so that it's easier for us to track so i did i get i got like liba loyola institute of business administration from mm-hmm. chennai and then i got bim trichi uh, bharati dasan institute of management okay and then uh, i am sambalpur sirmor jammu Na- nagpur vishakhapatnam yeah so these Both are the colleges you converted right yeah yeah and then you decided to take admission in iim vishakhapatnam yeah. so why yeah. did you choose iim vishakhapatnam over all these colleges so what were the factors reason, so the first reason was okay let's start with the fun, most fun reason out of okay. all these colleges the website of iimv looked nice and the color orange was something that was very welcoming for me so okay viewers was, this is this is atulya's reason <laughs> but not necessary it's one of the most important reasons so it's a i said reason. what reason i said take? i said the, let's start with the most fun reason <laughs> exactly okay. yeah so the next reason is a very serious reason <laughs> so um so first is of course the website was very welcoming it was orange in color and it was like the cult vibe was good i felt a good vibe about the institution because the outlook was good and at the mm-hmm. end of the day after i graduate that's how i want to feel about myself as well so 
it was kind of a replica of what the institution had for had to offer to me because uh, and all the links in the website were working sorry i am jammu you have to check some links here and there and uh, <laughs> uh, and so that was one of the fun reasons coming to the main reasons so i went through the faculty profiles and i figured out that you know some of the faculties have a background from bsc psychology and those who mm-hmm. interviewed me also had a background in psychology so out of the several institutions that i quoted this was the one i felt was uh, would have people who were coming from the same background as i am so even if i don't fit in i would at least have some mentors who would guide me to the future was one of the main things that i considered because right. i knew that for a fact you know even my father and i when we had conversations we knew that for a fact that a there will be people who have work ex and b it would be a majority of engineers and i wouldn't relate to both these people so i needed to have someone who would you know guide me in the right way so be it professor anuradha or professor bishaka who both have a background in psychology and have opted for an mba in research and are doing their uh, after a phd they are researching now or dean or whatever they are doing now i felt um there will be a factor of relatability at least with the faculty because at the end of the day they need to guide us they need to guide me in a way and help me out find out what i'm good at or what i'm bad at so, so that true. was one of the so the faculty the you know faculty and how i would fit in with the subjects was fun uh, number 2 is uh, the distance it is quite close to my house uh, back in chennai uh, so it, the flight is just 45 minutes so it it's an easier turn and we do have relatives who are here so also that also satisfies so safety and you know easier to go home and come back was access point everything so location wise also very good and third True. is out of all the cities this was a better city that is there you know except nagpur if you see because it's yeah. a tier 2 city at the end of the day and you have good shopping places and cafes here So you know Atulya I love the way how light heartedly you actually gave in so many keen points to focus on like the vibe and the positivity or the focus that was put into to make the website of Ayan Vishakhapatnam not just that you also mentioned on the faculty student ratio you also mentioned on how you are a good fit into the campus because the professors who would be teaching you have something that would actually add value to your not just career but also your personality so you just said that these are basic reasons but actually there is a lot of thought that you have given behind these things and i love the way how you put it so simply so yeah yeah and with this i have follow up question how do you feel uh, when it comes to extra curriculars in iim vishakhapatnam and how do you spend okay. your time other than academics in iim vishakhapatnam so number one is as you know as every viewer or every aspirant of b school would know uh b school is a very hectic life and you really get very less time apart from academics because a, either you are busy with your pre reads exams midterms case studies right. group discussion presentation and what not and apart from that you also have to attend to placement guest lectures and several events so oh, i true. think even the extra curricular activities first would be categorized into extra curricular business activities and extra curricular other activities um, right. because <laughs> because you have to have a you have to have a right mixture of you know industry experience as well as classroom experience so the business hmm. cluster here does a great job uh, especially the marketing club markers uh, they are on uh, instagram and linkedin so if you can go follow them <laughs> uh, so atulya what club are you a part of are you a part of this marketing club in the campus yeah so them <laughs> so you're doing a great job you're marketing your own club amazing so especially the markets club markets <laughs> can we have a rolling banner here that says markets <laughs> no we can't do that of course but yes the viewers would remember that there is some club for marketing as well and all those people who are interested in marketing would definitely go and search about go this club now markets definitely yeah. so, so what next <laughs> so business club does a great job in ensuring that we get the right mixture of uh, both the from the industry through like panel discussions guest lectures and what not you know we have competition simulations you know focus i mean group discussions and uh, a lot of activities here and there to improve our skills in the various domains that we are interested in nothing is forced upon us at the end of the day 
and uh, placement placement committee also does a great job in bringing in people uh, to educate us about the trends and help us get fit for the interview so this is the primary extra curricular activity apart from that we do have a very active sports committee and uh, cl- cultural cluster so as far as the sports committee goes you can see that we have events like sangram and a lot of internal events like youth then samharam sorry youth then uh, uh, something else so i am not a very sporty person so pardon me i think you need to bring in the sports committee to tell you about the salient feature but we have great teams for basketball football uh, table tennis pool chess carrom um and what not okay so swimming as well we have a great candidate for swimming here so, so many things you've mentioned and all these things you have to manage and put into things all of this so, in just two years so do you really think it is possible to actually indulge and participate in all these activities in the two years of mba oh my god mba gives you the right you know thing to balance and manage things like uh so as i said you have to choose wisely at the end of the day uh because you know you set the priorities if you want to go for sports you can nothing is stopping you here at the end of the day you know our attendance management system uh, everything works in tandem with how the students want it to we do have great accommodations for you know for encouraging people to go and represent the college in case study competitions in other mm-hmm. uh, sports events and also culturals also we do have a very uh, active and light hearted cultural event two day cultural event and the cultural cluster does a great job in cel- helping us celebrate the festivals and sometimes it just feels like you have developed a family here and you don't really feel homesick also because the number of people who come for the events is so uh, high and the vibe is so lively at the end of the day like holy just passed by and people i can still see the colors on people's hands that's how uh, lively it was Uh, so you you know you would know the right balance at the end of the day and it's not like um you would have something to do every day and so you you would have something to do every day right you find your sweet spot you find where you want to fit in you develop your own interests and you try to form a gang with yourself like with yourself and a few friends and you do what you like you guys do what you like and i have seen so you'll mom. always have some or the other thing to do in the campus there is something going on in the other corner all the time I can't disagree to that you know Amazing. even now even now if you go to the mess i feel like somebody would be sitting there with a speaker vibing to some kind of some music or other is it that lively all the like round the clock it's vibe lively it's very vibey like i don't feel like people sleep some people don't even sleep so that's the mba life true <laughs> yeah and now coming into the most important question according to our viewers and we would like to know how was your interview experience as a fresher because whenever we ask somebody how was your interview experience and people with work ex most of the times it is like they have 60 20% of their interview revolving around their work experience but how does it go for a fresher specifically a fresher like you who does not come from a quant background or comes from a very unique background so how was your interview uh, do t- tell me when, was it online or offline so i was I was, you know, a. I would say I was for, fortunate enough to have an online interview because I was not allowed to travel and I had the comfort of my house. But mm-hmm. I would strongly recommend, you know, offline interviews because the people can see how confident you present yourself and how mm-hmm. your body language is adapted with the way you speak. Because that is more important. Those cues give more importance than the words that you say at the end of the day. Right. Uh, so. mine was online but if it's offline do go for it and be like very confident and very outlooking in that way so right. as i just mentioned the you know before about i am vishakhapatnam i had attended all these interviews from the several colleges i had mentioned uh some colleges asked me like very specific quant like riddles like to check if i can divide and multiply in my head of course that was not my strong suit <laughs> and <laughs> i failed miserably but i guess some standardization normalization is going on somewhere to help students like me from psychology go psychology to <laughs> to ensure that you don't really need to know quants you can like chill in life but yeah uh, coming to the you know being serious so one was most of my questions were around my under graduation like okay. do i really know stuff uh, so they asked specific specific psychologist name and asked me what are their contributions to the field 
and they mm-hmm. asked certain concepts and asked me to explain certain theories so mostly it was from an organizational psychology point of view nothing from you know clinical side or nothing from child behavior and things like that school psychology was completely ignored so that was one thing so most so anybody like who is coming in as a fresher can expect questions on their ug degree like whatever is their degree they can expect questions coming up from those subjects yes and it's right. relevant to the mba because i was okay. asked that right okay True. so for example one question was about martin seligman and how uh-huh. you know his um this his findings would be relevant to mba and hmm. one question i clearly remember was what are the dilemmas or moral dilemmas and how do you think they would be in an organizational setting and what so things like that and uh, prisoners dilemma and how do you think that will be in an organizational setting elton myers experiment was asked to me hawthorne experiment was asked to me and mm-hmm. milgrid's experiments very specific questions related to my undergraduation and its relevance to my n- next degree especially masters and one more thing that was you know posed to me was uh statistics how would i handle statistics because that was part of the core subjects in my first two terms and finance right. Uh, as well as economics so you have to understand how you can bridge the gap between what your uh, undergraduate taught you and what your mba offers so one more tip that i would suggest that i you know didn't do was you know go through the subjects and see how it you can relate it to your undergraduate and see where how what are the gaps and answer that way like how you can bridge those gaps like for me finance was one thing and i i think i gave satisfactory answers because i am here at the end of the day and one more thing that was asked to post to me was why psychology why mba after psychology and why psychology in itself so if you have a very diverse background try to justify it and that is one thing and um yeah so these were mainly the questions and apart from that current affairs i was asked purely on current affairs and uh, that time ukraine the putin thing was going on mm-hmm. and so so one thing that i personally did was i tried to you put in you know bring in psychology or bring in how i analyze human behavior and all these current affairs so that they would know that i am an authority in the subject that i did in my undergraduate right so you know try to maximize from the knowledge that you got from your undergraduate and put it everywhere that is one thing because they need to know that you can you know assimilate information and understand it in a way that you can present it in a better way to to the or to your audience so right. that was one thing that i think the interviewers wanted to know and apart from that you know laws policies farmers bill was also there at that time so i was asked questions on that these are you know certain aspects some some riddles on quants were there like some candle riddle was asked i don't remember because i didn't answer that i'm sorry uh, i'm so sorry <laughs> and uh, that was going on so these were the main area so undergraduate current affairs uh, why so resume based questions because i did a lot of internships during my undergraduate so mm-hmm. as digital marketing intern and user experience designer and mm-hmm. they were asking me how relevant those were and why did i do it so those were certain things amazing so anything and everything that is in your extracurriculars your undergrad mm-hmm. subjects your personality yeah. and your hygiene questions plus current affairs and general knowledge so this is yes. a mix of all that could, that could be asked to any fresher so and apart from that as you said extracurriculars if i have to elaborate on that uh, i had specific pors i was asked how and why why those roles and what i did in those roles and uh, how relevant are they to what i would be doing in an mba Uh, okay uh, where yeah where some of the questions that was asked post to me in the interview as far as extracurricular activities and because i did have whole certain pos in my undergraduate for a person mm-hmm. for pieces of responsibilities and i was asked to elaborate on certain aspects like uh, how did i manage the finance of the club because i was a president of a specific club in my undergraduate because okay. they wanted to know if i can understand finance but sadly the answer was we had a treasurer and she managed everything uh, <laughs> so that was so, one thing the role of asking about position of responsibilities is more of to know that how they were into that leadership position and do they have managerial skills is it yes yes and uh, how you know how i managed my way through it was one thing mm-hmm. right so yeah a very fun plus amazing plus informative plus insightful discussion with atulya vyankatesh from iim visakhapatnam i bet each of the viewers have definitely and will definitely benefit from this information and experience that you have shared with us 
so thank you atulya thank you so much for coming with us today and for viewers thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure you had fun go follow connect to atulya on linkedin she's atulya venkatesh from i am vishakhapatnam i am very sure she would help you out in any of the queries that you may have and also please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to college duniya's mbs markets <laughs> yeah and also atulya club from i am vishakhapatnam the marketing club market <laughs> yeah so thank you thank you atulya thank you shruti thank you college dunia it was nice talking to you all